Yes, it is recording. Let's do it. Hey guys, Nate here. Lester. Thrift Dweller back at you with a, a quick pickup video. It's funny because you were saying how many videos we have that <laughs> <laughs> haven't Never even edited on, yet. Unearthed on the internet, which is fun. It'll be kind of backlog, lost tapes type yeah. thing. But no, this was just a quick upload to YouTube just because people are wondering if you died or if I died or whatever. We're alive. We're alive. So basically, pick up video, talk a little bit with you guys. Hopefully, everyone has been doing good. Nothing really new in the life of Thrift Dweller, I guess. Recently had a retro video game convention, which we took no footage of. <laughs> so, uh, I only had a couple minutes of just yeah. us standing there. It's kind of funny. Well, it's nothing That's really. Sweet. Maybe we'll put it on a video in the future. Stay tuned yeah. for that. But today we're going to do pickups. Uh, nothing too crazy, but some really good solid titles here from the thrift store. A new game that I'm addicted to, but let's just jump into it with round one. Shell padding. I always fuck that yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say no cheaps. But, but you didn't. Padding. Good, good. This is all from out of town thrift stores. Oh, nice. Dollar fifty. Uh, it's a Crash Super set or whatever. Comes with Wrath of Cortex and Nitro Kart, which I probably have on PlayStation. But for a buck fifty, whatever. Yeah. Right? You pick that up. This one was seventy-five cents for a Turn to Castle Wolfenstein for the uh, PC. <laughs> it's like, did they label it as a music CD? Oh yeah, look at oh, this. Oh shit, what's that? It comes with like the patches and stuff inside. Wow. And maps, etc. But no, like Wolfenstein was that game that. Uh, I first played at my uncle's house, first, you know, first person shooter. Mm -hmm. I think it actually precedes Doom. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. I played Doom actually in the SNES, which is probably oh, the worst you? version of Doom. I played it the other day actually. Gross. I'll take a little quick tour of uh, the <laughs> gaming area. Gross. <laughs> I couldn't play them because I get dizzy. Yeah, so. Lester's a dizzy guy. It sucks. Dizzy, dizzy. This is SpongeBob. Oh, jeez. <laughs> $1.50. I don't know. It's, I have little cousins that come here and they play games, so. That's probably for them. I didn't even know that they made a tie three. Uh, I know they made tie one and two for GameCube and probably PS2 and stuff, but there's a tie three. This one is actually just a buck. So that's not a bad wonder, deal added to the Xbox I collection. That's sought out for them. What's Maybe. That? Tie three. I Maybe. Don't know. Oh. Is it rare? I don't know. Simpsons Hit and Run? That's a good game. Yes, that is a fun game. Yeah. You know what we haven't played a lot of is Simpsons games. On the you should play Space ever. Mutants on Nintendo. Oh, jeez. I love that game. I remember for like years I didn't know how to beat the first level. I never yeah. got it. <laughs> color all things, everything colored purple. You have to cover. Yeah. And I was like, really? <laughs> is that what it is? Oh god, it was it was a rough game. Anyways, there you go. But yeah, you'll notice collecting for me has kind of gotten downhill a bit. You notice that? We're gonna have other types of videos soon. <laughs> well, we have, yeah, we have the equipment to do it. Why not? Yeah. Right, but it's just there's no. What else do I need? What else do I want? Nothing. It's just, it's time to play. This is time to play. Time to play. You know, there's always going to be the games that I really, I'll never get. I'm never going to buy $600 Earthbound. Are you? Sorry, yeah. Max. I know Max <laughs> bought it. You could buy it for $20. <laughs> there's a guy in the city on uh, RPG. Sells GG, uh, bros, apparently. 20 bucks. I'm like, what? And then I'll go up to like Max and like, hey, Max, check it out. 20 bucks. <laughs> just the way I, I choose to collect. I don't want to buy expensive games. That's the reason I got into the hobby is because it was cheap at the time. Now it's kind of gone crazy and... It's been more collectorism and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so, uh, I don't know. I don't think I could buy expensive games. Unless I got them cheap somehow. It's just the market's shifted, too. I'll, I'm going to tell the story. I told it, I did a little mini-blog, actually, but I'll tell the story again. Uh, I was preparing for the video game convention. Yeah. We were doing just a little fundraiser, we used $1,000 for cadets, but I was reaching out to people who I knew sold games, right? And then this one guy, who he sold something to me before. Uh, he sold me the Contra, if you guys remember that from Season 2. Hard Corpse. Oh, okay. And yeah. uh, I, I reached out to him. Like, hey, man, you want to be a vendor at my convention? Very nice. He's like, and it just it seems so smug the way he responded. I showed it to you. Yeah, 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 He's yeah. like, I'm not a reseller. I'm like, dude. He, but he, he said it in like a way, and his avatar looks like this. <laughs> you know, so it's like he's smug, and he's like, I'm not a reseller. Is what he messaged back to me. I'm like, pretty. I I messaged it back to him kind of like a dick. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure you sold stuff to me before and to other people. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, but is there anything wrong with being a reseller? Really? I don't think so. No, there isn't. You know, I... It's just... It, it just... It bugged me. It bothered me so much exactly. for this convention. I was like, I'm not a reseller. I'm like, pretty sure you sold me something. For retail, too. Yeah, exactly. It's just... I had... Don't, don't don't claim to like the games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just admit you're a reseller. Yeah, you, like, you can like games and be a reseller, yeah. but just... Don't lie to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, we're on to round two. Sorry, that was a little bit of a rant. Ding, ding, ding. 
No cheaps. No cheaps. There's going to be no graphics on this video, so sorry, guys. <laughs> now, games that I kind of wanted to keep, and I got because. This was from the convention that uh, we were just talking about for the cadets. I bought this for, I think I got it for 10 bucks off my friend Justin. Castlevania oh, wow, Dinosauro. Yeah. Justin's the man of deals these days. Oh, man. I got to do Justin. a room tour of his house, maybe. He has just, does, does he, he became, he is a real reseller, that oh, guy. He is, but oh, man. Like, he knows his shit, though. That's oh, the thing. You, you can talk to him all day about video games, actually. It's, he knows the market. Cool. And it's funny yeah. because he didn't care less about it until I brought it up to him. Mm -hmm. And on my phone, I show him my game room, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, oh, that's cool. And the next week, hey, man, I bought a thousand dollar lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, Diablo 3 for the PS3. $5.99 minus 30% off. You know, it's about that time. You're going to find a lot more of these. Disco. I don't, they started putting the discounts so that you can see it. That it's the right disc, right? Oh, man. That's fine for Blu-rays Blu and stuff, stuff, but like DVDs. Yeah, but Blu-rays, they're not scratch-proof. They're just scratch-resistant. Yeah. They can still get scratched pretty bad. But whatever. It's complete. Uh, I just wanted to play that game. You? You could always get on your PS4. <laughs> Here, open this. Hey, yeah, I just want to see the disc. Uh, this <laughs> I got for... Two ninety nine minus thirty percent off. Okay. Final Fantasy Tactics for the Game Boy Advance. A strategy guide. Ooh, what's what the maps? You yeah, maps, yo. <laughs> but whatever, it's strategy guides, and it's it's not like it's a Halo strategy guide. I actually probably would like to flip through this uh, once in a while. So there you go. Yeah, nice pictures right there. Oh. One was kind of an interesting find at the thrift store. The King of Fighters soundtrack, ninety four. King of Fighters ninety four soundtrack. Or 94 to 13. I wonder what that came with. I, who knows wow, what? look at the art on that. Wow, that's right. beautiful, actually. Nice, nice. And I think it's like four discs. Got it for uh, $2.99 at Valley Village. If anyone uh, um, can tell us if it came with the game, it looks like it did. But it's cool. Like It has here a list of all the games it came in. It's crazy. Or the, all the soundtracks from which games they came from. And King of Fighters, I think, is a very underrated fighting game. I actually like I'm not good at it, but I like it. I like it, too. I like 95. Yeah. I have a love for 95. I don't know why. 95. I think it's because you had it. That's yeah, I had I it. Know it. Yeah. Very good game. Or very good uh, soundtrack, I thought. Pump that music. That'll be the background music to this. <laughs> King of Fighters. Uh, second last pickup of the video. The spiritual successor to Dragon's Crown. Lester liked that game for a little while. I don't know if you still do like it. I sold it to Ian. It's a good game, man. Good Play game. Dragon's Crown, but uh, for the PS2, Odin Sphere. I got this one for 15 bucks off my buddy Justin, again, from that convention. Just really a beautiful side-scrolling RPG element beat -up type game. Really good. Odin Sphere, I actually haven't played it yet. I've just seen videos of it. Another Atlas game for the PS2. Again, Atlas games are always good to just snap up. They take a chance, man. Big Mike, thank you. PS2 is the system to get right now, man. It's so, like... I ended up getting games at that event. Yeah! So, uh, yeah I was like, what the fuck are you getting games for? Because... Don't look at my thing. I have, like, 15 PS2s in this guy right here. Oh, okay, that Odin Sphere was really close to being the maple syrup pickup of the video. But... Maple syrup, the best pickup of the video. I didn't show this yet, I don't think. No, I don't pick up video. But... Really addicted to this game. I have kind of trailed off a little bit from playing it. This is a standee. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear is really good right now. Play that game. Metal Gear 4, uh, 5, Phantom Pain. But yeah, this is uh, Super Mario Maker for the Wii U. Yes, I am playing Wii U. Um, you know, check the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll have my uh, my ID there. You can play some of my levels. What did you think? You played some of I liked levels. it. I liked it a lot. I was like, wow. I could have played it all day. Well, there you go. Uh, it comes in the game in this box. I bought it day came out and uh, came with some interesting things in this box hold on yeah we actually made a video yeah. where we played game we live streamed it if you guys saw it I think there's four people who did yeah we live streamed it and then we wanted to put it public after the fact and we got tagged by Nintendo <laughs> uh, uh. so no one will ever see it again except for the five unless we get it whatever it. Right? Yeah. but guess who was watching it uh, oh Yo, pause the 90s. What's up? And, uh, who else was in there? A whole bunch of other people, man. And there's, this is the book it comes with. It's an idea book nice. of everything in the Mario Maker. I thought it was a really cool little add-on thing here. Oh, there's my Super Mario 3D World. <laughs> Look at that. That's my pet peeve. Right there. What's that? Opening boxes and the, the wrong games in there. That's <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, comes with a slip up box, whatever. That's cool, man. You know, after playing this game, it made me actually want a Wii U. Did it? Yeah, because I only wanted it for just Bayonetta. Are you missing that? Yeah. It, Bayonetta? But... Yeah. Well, I mean, it hasn't had a price drop yet. No, it hasn't. No. But, uh... That's what I'm waiting for. Sometimes Wait. I wish it wasn't $2.99 for the console, man. It should be like $1.99 or something, $1.50 at least. But uh, yeah, man, if you get this, if it's four games, you can make your own levels in the style of uh, Super Mario Bros. 1, 3, World, and Super Mario U. Which, it, it skipped out too, but it's just because all the mechanics work together the same. Like, you can switch, like, you make a level of Super Mario Bros., and then you can literally just click to Super Mario Bros. 3, and it just converts everything to 3 style. Or you go to U and it becomes like 3D. Anyways, I made some really cool levels. I made like a Resident Evil level. I made a Hyrule Warriors level. Really fun, I think, to play. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Everyone just got frustrated. <laughs> See, he doesn't make them to kill you. He just makes them to fun suck thud factor and probably confuse you for a bit. Because the elements he used, you have to think of like you're playing Resident Evil. Like, oh, there's a yeah, trick Lester, to this right? Just jumping over things. <laughs> <laughs> I even put hints in my thing in my game, my levels. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the that's the pickups. What do you think so far? Or of it all so far? It's been slow. Well, this is nothing. There's, I not, wanted, there's right? nothing yet. Yeah, he has everything ready, <laughs> man. Like for real. Like, there's gonna be let's play videos on here eventually. <laughs> eventually, <laughs> I bought an uh, HD uh, capture card or whatever, but it doesn't have an SD. The Elgato, the 60 frames per second one. I didn't want to go down. Here. It's a 30 it's 30. I wanted 60 frames per second for you guys, if you guys care about that, I don't know. But maybe we'll shoot it now, we'll do some videos. But anyways, that's the pickup video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment below, let us know how you can do it. Miss everyone on YouTube. It's been a while, we've been neglecting the channel, but we should really come back. Well, in terms well, I don't of know. videos... I, when, when have I edited a video? Oh, like January? July? I don't know. No, not even no. Yeah, yeah. you were doing all oh, yeah, all all the videos. All the videos you see in the last couple of months have been edited by me. <laughs> so they have like a ghetto flavor to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Ghostface Killer on my video board. Yeah, exactly. Let's do edit the video. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for sharing and all the good stuff. Peace. 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 Lester. Guy. Miss you, Bye. Ian. Miss you, Ian. Wherever Ian is. Yeah. Well, we didn't know we should get on the show. We should get Gary back. G-Man wants Gary, to make some yeah. videos. Gary wants to make videos. Uh, Man, yeah. Games over B. <laughs> it's Gary. Um, I don't know if people will get it. No. no. I'm a little more conscientious now because I told my neighbor. Oh, have a YouTube channel, channel. Oh, okay. yeah, and his kid watches it, so yeah. oh, okay. I'm not gonna swear as much no. as I used to. Because no. the kid, he's a good kid. Whatever. My uh, neighbor is a big comic book guy, so and we just I saw I was he was moving in. He's new neighbor, and I was like, hey man, you got a lot of diamond boxes in your garbage. He's like, oh yeah, you noticed that, did you? I'm like, yeah, I noticed. That. <laughs> diamond is a distributing company for like uh, Marvel stuff and hot toys and all that stuff to your local comic book store. They probably have a diamond distributing license, so yeah. Anyways, peace.